Hey everyone, it's Talia here at ABH and welcome to ABH Studios. Today I'm super excited to show you everything you need to know about our holiday palette, Sultry. The whole team's here and we're having a photo shoot, so there's three different models with three different looks and we're gonna show you everything that you can do with our holiday palette. Hey Dora, how's it going? Hey Talia, how are you? Doing all right, welcome to set. So on you, I think we're gonna do a smoky eye and really play up the metallics in the palette, so really use the golds and the silvers to really play up that holiday vibe, but still smoke it out with your eye shape. So we're gonna do steampunk and teak on the lid, okay. which are more warm tone, and then we'll use ember on the bottom lash line, so there's a nice contrast between warm and cool, and then we're gonna smoke it out with noir. Before we apply, I'm gonna base out your eyelids with highlighting duo pencil, and since I know I'm gonna do metallics, I'm gonna go ahead and use the shimmer in to base out the lid. By basing out the lid, it gives the metallic something to grab to, and I'm just going to blend with a brush. And I'm bringing towards the center of the eyelid and blending the edges. It really pops the inside of your eye. And for this shade, we're gonna take this from Teak on the outside corner, blending into Steampunk using light pressing motions. A little bit of pigment goes a long way. All right, so now we're gonna smoke it out using Noir. And for Noir, I'm gonna use a small dome-shaped brush. It really gives me precision and allows me to really smoke out and keep control. So I'm just pressing down into the outside corner and bringing down into the lash line. Now I'm gonna blend out Noir on the lower lash line using the same small dome-shaped brush. It's small enough to fit right here at that lash line and really hug the corners. It deposits a lot of color but still blends at the same time. Now we're going to line the eye using Jet Waterproof Cream Color. You can use it as a liner for creating a wing, use it in your waterline, or smoke it out for a smoky eye if you want to. It's waterproof, so you can wear it all day. And next, I'm going to blend with that same brush that we applied Noir with. This will give us more of a smoky liner with the most intensity. Next, I'm going to apply it in your waterline, just for that added drama. Now that we have the eye lined, we can go and add a little bit of pop on the lower lash line. I'm gonna take Ember with that same small dome-shaped brush and bring that from the inside corner through the center. All right, Dora, it wouldn't be a holiday makeup without some glow, so sure. let's use our favorite bronze glow kit, Sun Dipped. These shades are perfect with your skin tone, so I'm gonna do a little bit of bronze just to pop that upper cheekbone and high points of the face. Okay, so to finish the look off, for the holidays, we have a metallic liquid lipstick set. All three shades are brand new, and they're perfect to pair with Sultry because they have that metallic effect to pair really well with the metallic shades in the palette. I'm thinking let's do shade Phantom, which is like this deep red with a metallic finish. I'm gonna start by applying in the center of your lip. So just a nice little pro tip is when you're gonna wear a bold lip, make sure to use a little bit of your foundation with a small concealer brush and just go around the perimeter. It just makes sure the lip looks really clean and precise. So for you, we're gonna play with color. So as you can see in the palette, there's this really cool pop with the shade Bloom, which is like a coral pink. So I'm gonna show you how to wear this and pair it with more of a halo eye technique which will still give you a smoky effect, but really open up the center of your eyelids. The first shade I'm going to use is Bloom, and we're really gonna define the corners of the eye with this shade. It's a matte, so it's gonna be highly pigmented, and I'm gonna use a small dome-shaped brush to pick up the product. As you can see, it picks up a lot. So I'm just gonna take it, tap off the excess. Before I go into applying, I'm gonna really define the corners of your eye, placing that small brush in the corner of your eye. It helps it keep the eye open so I know exactly where I want to place it and then blending towards the center of the crease. Now we'll do the same thing on the inside. As you can see, it's super pigmented and a little bit goes a long way. So once I have the product placed, we can go ahead and blend. So I'm making sure just to blend the edges. Now we can do the same thing that we did on top on the bottom. Now that we have the outside corners defined, we can pop your lid, and I'm gonna use shade Rose Quartz, which is a really pretty metallic. I'm gonna spritz my brush with a setting spray. Just a light spritz. This gives the metallic a really nice, intense finish. And I'm just gonna press it. And as I press it, I'm blending into the shade Bloom, 
I'm gonna bring that same shade through the center of your bottom lash line and press it right here. I'm blending a little bit down. So the next step is we're gonna smoke out the corners using shade Dystopian. I still wanna leave bloom showing through, so I don't wanna go too large with Dystopian. Now we'll repeat those steps for the inside corners. Okay, so now we're gonna take the same shade. I'm just gonna switch brushes. So I'm gonna use a small liner brush. And because this look is really meant to open up your eyelid, I'm gonna keep this liner really tight. I'm thinking with your eyes, because I love the shape so much and wanna really play up your crease and your wing shape. Let's do a cut crease and definitely play up the cooler tones in the palette. I'm thinking let's play with twig and slate mm -hmm. and also cyborg. Mm -hmm. And then smoke it out with some noir. So I'm gonna keep your eyes open with shade twig. And when looking straight, I can really see the shape we wanna create. So I definitely wanna wing you out. So I'm gonna start by applying twig right here in this outer corner, stretching out to this outer wing shape and then bringing it into the crease. Then for the inside, I'm still using that same brush, not all the way to your inner corner, but enough so it softens right out here. So the next step, we're gonna take Slate, which is this gray tone right here, using the same brush. And what I'm going to do is really just diffuse your lower lash line. This gives our black something to blend into, so it gives you a really diffused, blown out effect. I'm actually gonna take a little bit of Dystopian, which is this deeper shade, with a smaller brush. And we're just gonna intensify this outer corner a little bit more. For the next step, we're gonna take Cyborg and then also use a setting spray. This just gives it more of an intense finish. And what you wanna do is just press it into the lid and then use the tip of the brush to really create a clean line right here at the crease. All right, so now you can see that the cut crease is starting to take shape. Mm -hmm. By adding that metallic on the lid, you can start to see the definition in the crease. Next, we're gonna move into liner. So what I'm going to do is actually apply Jet Waterproof Cream Color through your waterline as my guideline for creating the wing. So I'm gonna take the brush and pull from this lower lash line directly up to create your desired wing shape. Now, from the upper lash line, we can pull down into the upper corner. All right, Sarah, so now that we got the wing on there, let's smoke out the lower lash line. I'm gonna take some of Noir and just stay really tight to that lower lash where we apply Jet and blend the edges. Next step, we're gonna define that crease using Noir, which is the black shade, and really give it a clean line. So I'm gonna use the same brush I did your liner with to create that clean line. All right, guys, thanks for having fun with us today. We hope you enjoyed all of the looks and we can't wait to see what you create in store. See you next time.